Warning. If the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus? Some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. Potentially graphic footage is shown as I legally dispatch nuisance pests in my yard. I use bait to bring them to a safe place for a clean and humane dispatch. Don't confuse this with hunting in the woods. It's not. Some of these critters are shot to protect my property and our animals like my old dog, Piper. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch. Simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. Perfect. Little headshot there. That is a meaty squirrel. Look at that. That one's gonna taste good. Ed Gun Leshy presents Squirrel Hunting with the Nasty Nine, Volume 1. The Ed Gun Leshy is an incredibly versatile air gun. Short range, long range, and everything in between. If you hear this thing can't shoot, question the person pulling the trigger, or at least the authenticity of the source. With a simple barrel swap, which takes seconds by the way, you can go from 177 to uh, 357, um, as you can see from left to right here that we're looking at here. So I use this either white or this hot pink uh, nail polish uh, to make tracking the pellet a lot easier. So I'll throw a link in the description if you're interested in trying that out. In this series, we're going to explore the extreme end of the Ed Gun Leshy's capabilities, the Nasty Nine. 81 grains of knockdown power on any critter walking through my yard. Uh, so during the setup, I was able to push the pellet upwards of 700 feet per second, but with the right reg uh, settings, you could easily get to 800. That is an insane amount of power out of something this tiny. So I wasn't planning on seeing any hogs in my backyard. So I settled back into, as you're seeing here, about 520 feet per second, so around 49 foot pounds. It's got a bit of a rainbow trajectory wise beyond 30 yards, but I sure didn't hear any complaints from these guys. So with a little tinkering, you can squeeze out about 14 shots per fill. The part that really surprised me was how quiet it was. I shot past this dove just to show you what I mean. Uh, watch the reaction. I don't need any DB meters to tell you uh, what that just showed. It's quiet. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like all day long plinking in your backyard quiet, but that's not what this setup is for. You're not shooting pop cans with 81 grain pellets. Yes, I realize I'm shooting uh, slow and not that hard, but um, as what you're about to see, the power is no joke. At slow speeds, the polymags were not flying as well as the JSB uh, Diablo 81 grain 357 pellets. So I moved pretty much exclusively back to them uh, pretty early in the beginning of messing around with the Nasty 9. As you can see, these things hit like a truck though. In slow motion, you can see how violent it was. One thing I didn't uh, like though compared to the Dirty 30 uh, was the pass through. So it was impossible to stop them. So, especially on small game like this. So this is why I have these feeders set up the way that I do. Let's talk a little bit about this setup here. Um, so most of the issues that I have, they're coming from up in all these trees, right? Getting into, I'll show you some of the issues here. I've taken off, you can see like all of this is all from them scraping, trying to get in. And then here, you can see all of that. That's all from these little bastards. So in the spring, no sense in doing it in the winter. I'll clog them up. So in the spring, uh, I'll go fix that. But for now, this is what I do, right? I'll come out when I'm gonna sit here and uh, be ready uh, to dispatch a few. I'll come out, I've been using corn uh, like this, just off the cob, putting it in. And that seems to have been helping. I'll put it over there. And then I'll set up these cameras each time. So. Tacticams out here. 
I do have an extra GoPro. Uh, it's a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. The, the remote on it sucks. These Tacticam things, you just press a button and they all come on. Um, they're pretty awesome. So I've got this guy right here. That kind of covers me here. That GoPro is just sort of a low footage, but this one covers it all. And then I got this guy for the table. Now I just have to be careful about how close these cameras, and that's where YouTube's been freaking out, right? Um, I'm using it to show you guys shot placement, right? Uh, but YouTube says I'm sensationalizing the death of an animal. Either way, here is that guy. Mounted that on the fence. Got a really cool little clamp. That means, or that just works really well. And then I got this guy down here for the reverse. So that covers that angle that you guys see from behind. Obviously, we got quite a bit of leaves, but they come every week. Help me pick these things up. That's how many trees. That really is what kind of comes down to all of these trees. Hundreds of hundred plus year old oaks. That's really what, how I have so many squirrel issues, right? It's just, and look at this, surrounded by them. Which is cool, I'm just saying, the, the downside of it is uh, the amount of squirrels, and there's zero predators. So, that's what we got. My little setup here, and uh, I'll sit back over, I'll use my camera, that guy, the Nest Cams that kind of tell me, I got another one here, and then another one up here. They're all over the place, uh, but that's where I'm sitting. I'll sit right in here and wait for them. So about 25 yards down that way and we'll drill them. This next one is a shot to the vitals and I gotta use that little sensor graphic thing I told you guys about in the last video to block off some fluid that goes flying. So head on over to Club Leshy if you wanna see any of these videos without that. Um, and you can check out the link in the description for more information. I'm going to show you guys this one one more time and I'm going to pause right before impact just to show you how big this pellet is and also this is the perfect shot placement for a vital shot on a squirrel. The squirrels are really fat all of a sudden which leads me to believe we're in for a doozy of a winner. However, the silver lining is all that extra fat does wonders to the taste, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to zoom in too much on here so I don't have to censor it. Uh, and you can really see the full effect of the 9mm pellet. Um, it's a light switch kind of deal, and this one is now off. Uh, in the next volume, I'm actually going to show... Uh, I've got a really cool shot of this reverse angle that I was just showing you. Um, you actually see the pellet traveling to the camera. It's pretty cool. As I'm zooming out here, you can see some of the squirrels coming in from the back. One's going up and down the fence there. It's really hard to explain the level of infestation that we have. Think about how many squirrels you've seen on this channel get greased. And yet, it's still non-stop. So at any given time, I could look out and see 5 to 10 squirrels. Literally, any time I want, I look out the window and see 5 to 10 of them. Uh, some of them are on my roof, some of them are in the trees around it. I mean, it's just insane. So whenever I'm able to, uh, I'll go out and drop some corn in like I showed you and at the top of this video and I'll remove a few. But every yard is like this, at least a mile around my house, every single yard. So there's thousands of these guys. And I, I guess one thing I'll take comfort in, uh, and one thing for certain, and I push game the shove, I have zero concerns about putting food on my table. We had an early storm come in that I think caught these guys off guard. So it caught me off guard at least, that's for sure. Uh, they were out in huge numbers. Here I got a double, but I could have racked up 10 at least. The snow just kept on coming and coming and so did they. So a little later I was able to grab a few more. Uh, my neighbor can't shoot anymore, uh, so she's always insists on paying for pellets because she feels bad, right, that I'm uh, constantly helping her, keeping them out of her attic and stuff. 
Um, she also dresses them, uh, so it's awesome. So I, uh, not that I don't mind, but cleaning a squirrel's a pain in the ass, right? Um, I don't care what you can say or what videos you want to watch of how easy it is. It's not like uh, I, I don't necessarily enjoy it. So I'm happy to have her do it. So, anyways, she grew up on them and loves them. So she's a biologist and loves. Uh, really kind of understanding the studies of some of these small game but her big thing is about these zombie deer uh disease and population um that are spreading around the midwest and all throughout the country um and so she'll do some additional testing on these guys but most of the things that we're finding in here is poison so fortunately we have had um none found over the last month or so so we're starting to put more in the pot I'm going to be switching over to the pink nail polish here soon. Um, as you can see here, the white is really starting to blend in with the background, obviously with the snow. Uh, you can still see it, however, and you can 100% see how the Nasty 9 changed the shape of this guy's head. I'll have some short videos with this series exclusively in Club Leshy, as it's really hard to edit anything close with how much damage the Nasty 9 inflicts. Let's wrap up volume one with this fatty. It's a keeper. Retrieve this guy here. This early season snow dump on us. Let's go get this dude. there that is a meaty squirrel look at that that one's gonna taste good Backyard hunting helps keep the population of potential pest animals under control the bonus some of these guys taste pretty dang good so here's one of my all-time favorite squirrel recipes. Press pause to get the full details. 